Hi, I'm Greg Cody, the sports columnist and blogger for the Miami Herald. It's August 24th, 2012. We're test driving a fancy new background here, and this is the latest edition of The View from Miami. What a holy mess, this dethroning of America's seven-time Tour de France champion Lance Armstrong. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency would have us believe Lance is one of the world's most prolific cheaters and frauds. Armstrong calls the USDA pursuit an unconstitutional witch hunt. Somewhere in there, murky and still hard to find, is something called the truth. The USADA says it has evidence Armstrong used banned substances, including steroids, as far back as 1996, and that as recently as 2010, he had test results consistent with doping. The problem is the agency has not offered specific proof that Armstrong was testing positive for anything but adulation in winning all of those consecutive tours from 1999 through 2005. But if Armstrong is guilt-free in all of this, why is he giving up the fight? This is a man who has literally climbed mountains and who has heroically overcome cancer, but now he can't find the wherewithal to keep fighting for his good name? That seems strange. Armstrong says his giving up the fight is not an admission of guilt. But Lance, how else are we supposed to see it? I'm Greg Cody.